defamation of raping minors. Comment below. Let us know what you think regarding the subject matter at hand. So let's see here. Ricardo Ramirez asks, my ex-wife charged me with domestic violence and the judge dismissed the charges due to lack of evidence. For that reason, I separated from her. Now, she has placed another complaint of me raping one of her daughters and has placed flyers at some businesses with my photos saying that I'm a child rapist. I have a hearing for this case next month. What should I do? Well, there's a combination of things. For the criminal case, you need to hire a criminal lawyer, and that lawyer needs to go to court, needs to enter pleas of not guilty, needs to order copies of the police report and any other physical evidence that they might have. Then the judge would give a new court date to come back and start discussing the matter with the DA's office. But you also have a civil case against your ex-wife here because she's essentially defaming you without you ever having been convicted of the crime so you need to hire a civil attorney in order for him to get something called a preliminary injunction which would basically force your ex-wife to start to stop posting all of these flyers all over the place and if she does not she'll get thrown in jail for disobeying the court and she could be facing up to a year for doing this but going back to the more serious issue remember it doesn't matter if you're innocent or guilty. Never talk to the police when you're accused of a serious crime because anything you do or say will be used against you in court. As a matter of fact, for any crime, forget about serious crime, for any crime, never talk to the police because anything you say or do will be used against you in court. You've probably heard of the Fifth Amendment. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in court and you have the right to an attorney. Always exercise your right to an attorney because under the Sixth Amendment of the United States, of the United States Constitution, if you exercise your right to an attorney, then the police have to stop asking you questions. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, give us a call for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the difference between a misdemeanor and felony domestic violence. Have a good day.